In this video, I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting your videos to high quality in the new Premiere Pro 2022 update. So here's our Premiere Pro. The first thing I'm gonna do is go up to File, New, Sequence. And this video was shot at 1080p, 24 frames per second. So I'm just gonna go down to Digital SLR. 1080p and i'm going to select 1080p 24 frames per second if you shot this at a higher frame rate just go up here to settings and then you can adjust the frame rate to whatever frame rate you want your sequence to be once you've done that just go ahead and press ok then what i'm going to do is go ahead and drag my clip onto the timeline onto video layer number one i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see and now i'm going to select an in and out point an area on the timeline that i want to have exported so in order to do that i'm just going to grab the playhead and go to the very beginning of my footage and press i on the keyboard for n and then i'm going to drag my playhead to the very end of my footage and press o on the keyboard for out and that area that's highlighted on the timeline is the area that's going to be exported if i want to select everything on my timeline what i can do is press x on the keyboard and that's going to highlight highlight everything. Next, I'm gonna go up here to the export tab. And then what I want you to do is select this media file option. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up here to the file name and just type in whatever you want your file name to be. Then what I want you to do is go ahead and click on this little blue link here. And this is gonna be the location that you want to save your file to. So I'm just going to find where I want to save my file at and click choose. And for preset, you can just go ahead and leave this as is because this is gonna to change to custom here in just a little bit. For format, change this to H.264. The next thing I want you to do if you haven't done so already is go ahead and select this video layer here and then drop down the video tab. And the first thing we're going to adjust are the video settings. So I wanna make sure that my frame size is set to 1920 by 1080. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck this box here and then select that and then recheck that box. For frame rate, you'll do the exact same thing. So change it to whatever your frame rate is supposed to be, 23.976, and then double check that box. And then field order should be set to progressive and aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. Then what I'm gonna do is select this box for more and I'm going to check the box for render at maximum depth as well as check the box for use maximum render quality. I'm gonna scroll down here to time interpolation and make sure that's set to frame sampling. And so for the encoding settings, this is really going to affect how fast or how slow it takes for your video to be exported. So we wanna make sure that we're selecting the correct one. So as far as performance, you have two options here. You can select hardware encoding or you can select software encoding. So the first option is going to be hardware encoding. And hardware encoding is going to utilize available software for quicker encoding. So what that means is that is if your computer is capable and it has a strong enough GPU you can select hardware encoding and your video will be exported significantly faster so you're gonna to want to select that option a lot of computers don't actually have that ability so if you don't you're just gonna to have to select software encoding so once you've selected the correct option go down here to where it says profile and change this to high and then your level should be set to 4.2 so once you've selected the proper encoding settings, go ahead and scroll down here to the bitrate settings. And the bitrate settings are what's going to affect your overall file size. So you wanna make sure that you're selecting the right one as well, because if you have a huge file size with your video, it's gonna take a lot longer to export as well. So the first option that we have is going to be constant bitrate. And what constant bitrate means is that your bitrate is going to remain constant throughout the entire export process. This is what I like to choose whenever I want something to be like perfect and I wanna make sure that it looks the best that it can possibly look, not necessarily something that I'm going to upload to YouTube. So what I'll do is I'll select CBR and I'm going to change this to 62.5. But notice, whenever I changed it to 62.5, the file size over here increased significantly. So here's my secret. What I like to do is change this to VBR one pass and VBR just stands for variable bitrate. And the difference between VBR one pass and two pass is the number of passes that Premiere Pro does whenever your video is being exported and it's assessing those areas that require more bitrate. VBR two pass makes almost no difference. So I always go with VBR one pass. And additionally, if you opted for hardware encoding, you will not have the option of selecting VBR two pass. So again, VBR two pass really isn't something that I have seen good results with. So I go ahead and select VBR one pass and then change this to 30. And notice whenever you change that to 30, it dropped the estimated file size down significantly over here. Next, check the tab for audio if you haven't done so already, and then drop down this audio layer here, and then you're gonna select these audio settings. So the audio format needs to be set to AAC. Audio codec should be set to AAC as well. Sample rate should be set to 48,000 Hertz. 
Channels should be set to stereo and for bit rate, go ahead and leave that at 192. Next, what I want you to do is go up here to these three dots and then select save preset. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a preset that you can select instead of having to go through these same steps every single time you go to export your video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name this best export settings. And then I'm gonna press okay. And then I can click on that preset every single time I go to export and then just press the export button. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.